the first walking meditation, we went down to the beach and I planned to do, try to do it. And I left my wife and she went off by herself. And um, I then tried to stand and close my eyes and do the walking meditation. And it was, in, it was very, very difficult to, to get balance. And I couldn't concentrate because I was too scared that I was going to fall. Um, and walking in sand is one of the hardest things for someone who has MS. And um, it's a terrible surface to walk on. And anyway, I decided to sit down and do the meditation sitting down. And uh, I proceeded to, uh, to try and walk a little bit when it came to the walking part. And I just was so slow and shuffling and uh, the sand was just terrible for me. And then I tripped up on a piece of seaweed and I thought, oh well, give this away. So I completed the, that meditation and, and uh, we went off for the rest of the, the day. So the next day we had walking meditation number five and I'm sitting, um, oh, sorry, I went down to the beach with my wife again and I let her go um, off to where she went yesterday and um, I was told that I could do the meditation on the uh, boardwalk or the, uh, the, the decking that was behind the, uh, so I didn't have to walk in the sand. And a very kind volunteer helped me uh, walk along the path and then they said you can go down, there's mats on the beach and you can stand there and do the, uh, so I went down the ramp, stood on the, on the, um, on the mats and, and it didn't, didn't feel safe there either. So behind me was a little area where there was a mattress and the four posted, uh, like a gazebo type of thing. So I just sat there and did the meditation, started the meditation and uh, everything was going pretty good because I was right in the zone. And, and um, when it came to the walking part, I didn't have the courage to get up and, and walk. Um, I thought after yesterday I wouldn't do that. So I just concentrated on, on the meditation and then um, came back, closed my eyes and continued the meditation. Now, during that meditation, I was in the blackness and, and all of a sudden I saw a bright light white light, a beam of light come uh, from above into my head and not long after that I felt my knees just jerking forward like this and I thought what's going on here and then I heard a voice in my head say just get up and walk and yeah, it was quite loud. I think it was twice I heard, just get up and walk. So I said, I better listen to whatever this voice is telling me. So I, I took a couple of steps on the sand and I thought, oh, that's not too bad. You know, I, I'll try a few more and I walked a little bit more. And then I, I, uh, I started moving quite easily. I was going through the thickest part of the sand. I was just started motoring through it. You know, I was a little bit wonky, of course, but, um, but I was getting up at the fastest pace that I've walked at for a long time. And I, I must have walked about 100 metres and then walk, came back and walked again and, and came back again. And I thought, I just walked on the on the, in the sand, you know, I, I play golf at home and I can't even get into the bunkers without help from my playing partners and, and get out without help from them. So walking in uh, on the beach was just, it was unbelievable. So I went back and finished the meditation and um, decided to 
Uh, now it's time to go up and meet. I saw Magnificent Sunrise straight after that and I decided to meet my wife up at, um, in front of the restaurant. And so I walked up the ramp, I walked up the middle of the ramp, didn't have to hang on to the sides to, to get support. Walked along the, the, uh, the ramp in the, in the middle, uh, sorry, uh, along the, um, the decking towards the restaurant in the middle without anything to hang on to, no one there to, to support me. And um, I saw my wife about 20 metres away and I'm like this, walking. And she, she just started bawling, you know, crying like anything. And we just embraced and kissed and I had I had this strength in my legs that I don't normally have and I had balance and I just was um, just so amazed. That as we were walking back from the restaurant, I decided, uh, well, my shoelace was, was uh, undone, so I leant down. Usually when I have to do my shoelaces up, I have to lean up against something or my wife supports me. And I just went down, tied it, got up again and walked towards the bus and then I leapt from the steps into the bus without any assistance. So that was, uh, that was bizarre. I think I said at the time, geez, I wasn't able to do that yesterday. So, and that all the people in the bus gave me a clap. So, yeah. so that's basically what's happened while I've been here.